So now we're going to look at how the fingerings work together when we're moving in the same direction. Oftentimes the fingering will be taught one, two, three in the right hand, one, two, three, four, and then continuing like that in the left hand, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Pretty soon all those numbers going on, one, two, three, and then five, four, three in the left hand, it can get confusing and at some point people just kind of try to go by feel and they end up crossing in the wrong space and then now my thumb should be on the C and it's not and because of that um, it's it's hard to be to get really solid and comfortable and accurate so we're going to look at a different way at this a different way which can be really helpful we're going to start the scale in that position with that group of three, ready to move to this group of four, and in the left hand, I'm on my fifth finger just to play the lowest note, and then I'm going to continue up four. And what I'm looking for is things that are the same in both hands. So I get to the third note, the E, third scale degree, Notice I'm playing my third fingers in both hands. That's landing together on me on the third scale degree and on would be E in this key. So every time I get to that third scale degree, I'm going to be playing the same thing. If we come down from the top, do the same thing. This is just going to be a mirror image. So I start five, four, three. That's where I'd be continuing through all those fingers. And one, two, three in the left hand. I get to threes on la. Pardon the look of those fingers. Threes on the sixth scale degree on A on la. So that means I have my third fingers are going to be landing on A and E. So we could go through and play those things that are always going to line up. Remember when we did the D flat major scale, we had two and three on the same notes. It didn't mean my second finger, my right hand, and my second finger and the left hand were in the same on the same note, but I had a pair of fingers covering those same notes symmetrically. And notice what happens with the C major scale. After I pass through that place, where the fingers are lining up, threes on E, my left hand two and one land on F and G. And it's exactly the same fingers in my right hand, one and two, that are going to land on the same notes. You notice those are the same notes as chopsticks, if you've ever learned that song. So when I play through the beginning of the scale, I go to threes on an E, and then one and two on Fa and Sol, or the fourth and fifth scale degrees, threes on La. A or the sixth scale degree, and notice if I continue, at this point I'm not going to play five because that's not the final note. I'm going up, that comes to one again to get into this group of three, and on my left hand it's one also. So I have ones, that would be the regular finger on Do or in C. So I have ones on C, third fingers on La. Two and one, look at that with the thumbs in the middle, so symmetrically on Fa and Sol. Threes on Mi, ones on Do. So if you go through the scale, one, threes, Fa and Sol, one and two, threes on La, one, and then continue all the way up and down as far as you want. Then when you play the scale, You'll find all those notes lining up, get ready for the one and two, get ready for threes together, and then you get ready for ones together on C, and the next thing we aim for is threes together on E. One and two together on Fa and Sol, threes on La, and either continue up with one on Do, so those are together, or you can play to finally decide. Okay, that's the top note. I'm going to play that with five. Threes on La, one and two. Threes on E, one 
ones together on Do, threes on La, one, two, Fa, Sol, threes on Mi, and then finally your fifth finger can close it in the left hand.